Hello, it's Marek. Welcome to M Drives and welcome to another video. Today I have on my disposal another M2, which is completely stock. So it's a perfect opportunity to compare the stock car with my car with B16 on it in the softed suspension. Why I'm doing it? Well, the owner of this car, Steve, uh, wanted to find out if it would be a good idea to install uh, B16s in his car to make it actually more comfortable than in a standard form. As everyone knows, it is a bit crashy with the stock suspension and that's what we're trying to find out. Will this car with coilovers in a soft setting will be better to drive on a daily basis than this with stock suspension? So, without further ado, let's find out. So, we're in Steve's car and we're going to do a reference route uh, before we jump into my car to test it and to find out how it compares. You see, I can definitely say that sound-wise, I feel, I hear more sound from the front, as I mentioned, yeah, and that's because you obviously don't have a sport cut. So what we prepared today as a route is a bit of a, a bumpy road um, then we're turning into a road for about a mile before going back on the local road and going back to the same spot where we started then jumping back to my car and we'll uh, find out what is the difference. So do you daily your car? I do yeah. How many miles do you do every day? Uh, about 50. Driving it on the motorway a lot? Or? Yeah, yeah, straight down to it, uh, towards Leeds. A um, bit of town driving. Yeah, it's a, just quite a really nice car to drive. I, I absolutely love it. I don't, I don't mind driving a manual, because yeah. it was manual as well, which is perfect, because our cars are almost identical, so yeah. we're eliminating a lot of differences which would come from the weight difference etc yeah. so it's a perfect match for this test since I moved to the B16s I feel like they, they are just a dream suspension it just works in every conditions so I got this originally yeah, too it, yeah it's that it's that I think that's what you're going to see it will disappear in b16s it's that constant like yeah. little movements yeah. i think when you drive it fast you don't feel it so much um, and that's what i always said with the stock suspension i think over 40 45 50 miles per hour that's when it shines it, it actually then starts working really well um, but when you're driving it in town at lower speeds that's when it's always moving um, and that's what was a bit annoying and I think that's what B16s are filtering uh, much better. Um, and like I said, we, even with the medium setting, which I had for almost a year, the six at the front and five at the back, it still felt like, um, you know, that was better. So I think, I think you will realize that with my suspension, the car probably will move a bit more because it will move more with the um, the suspension will have slightly less travel, but the quality of damping, um, all, all, all of the uh, uneven surfaces, that, that where you should see the real difference. Yeah, I'm interested in the ease of uh, adjustment as well because I, mm. I assume coilovers were more um, weren't easy to adjust. No, honestly, I, I, um, it takes me about five minutes. Um, I always need to put my phone in there um, as I as I can't remember which way I need to turn them. Uh, I think the best way like for today because they are in two and one so they are at the end of the scale yeah. it's easy for me just to put the hand in turn it and when I feel I'm at the end of the scale I just count back from there yeah. um, so it's quite easy. Right so we are getting back I don't know if you want to jump yeah let's jump into my car now. Just the cat? Yeah. That's only the cat? Yeah. Oh. We jumped in. 
just in time before the rain. But I feel like I I don't know yet. But it feels different. It feels definitely different. I think it's softer. You've got more camber on the front of this, haven't you, than mine? Probably, yeah. I think last it's, time we looked at the cars, you can definitely see your, the, yeah. the angle of the wheels. Yeah, it's 1.3 at the front and 1.5 at the back. Oh. I've actually checked. And what's that compared to standard? I think standard comes with about 1.2 at the front, so it's not, it's not a massive difference. It's just a bit more. It might slightly move a bit more with yeah. the road, yeah. but I think you don't feel any kind of like small bumps. Yeah, I think it moves slightly more with with the surface. Yeah, it's definitely it's, di like it's definitely different, but it's marginal, isn't it? It's, yeah, I guess it's one of these things you drive for a while and you notice it. Yeah, we were probably were driving a bit faster than before, but it was here when we felt like it was moving a, a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't think it moves that much now. I think the main thing is obviously at the moment with the softer setting there is a bit of there is a bit of roll in it, I yep. would say, in the corners. With when you set it harder that where the roll disappears and it's just like feels so so flatter and I remember when I set it really hard setting it just felt like on rails. It, it just the steering feels so much yep. like in a go-kart. Yep. Um, so what do you think? How, how would you compare it? It feels different. I don't, I don't think it's night and day. It, it is very comparable, I would say. But I think this, this has just feels like it's, 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 it's the it's, quality of the, of the damping yeah. of the... It's better. I don't actually mind the stop suspension. It's a bit crashy, but I think it comes into its own once you push it on. Yeah. So this, it, it'll be really interesting to see how how much better this feels when once it's um, in those settings. So. The, t the turning feels different. Mm. I'd say the turning feels. I'd say it feels sharper, but also a bit looser because the suspension's a little bit softer. Yes, that, that's what I felt when I when I made it soft. Yeah. It's when you you don't feel that urgency when you're turning. Mm. It, it feels more bit, bit more wallowy, I would say. Um, but yeah, that changes completely when you change the settings yeah. again. Just in time for the rain. Yeah. <laughs> The big difference is, <laughs> is the steering wheel. Oh, yeah. yeah, it feels completely different. Yeah, I think I think it feels like the soft setting in mine very much. Um, I've been returning on these cars. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. When the road is reasonably smooth, you don't feel a lot of difference between the two. Yeah. It's when it gets bumpy, um, the, the soft setting in mine just feels slightly better because it just works better with the, with the surface. That, that's all I can say about it. Um, yeah. But other than that, it feels very similar. Yeah, yeah it feels... It feels fine. It's when you, yeah, you, when you go through through some bigger bumps, then you feel like it's it's just not the same quality of damping. But it is, like I said, it's very small. So your, I would say, your opinion on the soft setting. Do you think it would be worth changing it for that setting only? So if you would want to make your suspension as soft as possible, soft even softer than um, the stock suspension, do you think it's worth it or do you think it's not? No. Because I think, I think it felt very similar. Yeah, I don't think there was enough of a difference to, yeah. to warrant changing it. So I, I, think, I think the consensus here would be that 
in the softest setting it feels very much like a stock car with a difference that I think it just dampens the, the small little imperfections in the road a bit better um, but I don't think it's softer than the stock suspension however you've got the option to go harder and I think that that what makes the difference um, and, and I'm really glad to know that it actually can feel almost as a as a stock car if you wanted to um, and then you can go to your uh, harder settings if you want to have a bit of fun yeah I think I forgot to mention one important difference between the cars obviously my car is lowered and if it still achieves to deliver a similar experience and comfort as a standard car I think that's a huge deal because many people look at the stands and they want to lower their cars without necessarily affecting the ride quality which this test proves that it's clearly achievable. So as a little bonus uh, Steve wanted to find out how it feels in, uh, in my fast road setting so we reverted to six front five rear it's yours. <laughs> We'll see how you feel now. I, I think, I think the, the, like I said, the main difference to me was the steering uh, feel. So we could go potentially higher. We could go to. Okay. You feel feel the difference. Already, yeah. 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 Uh, you know, you could go 10-9 like I did when I was trying it, but I think it's just far too much. It's probably too stiff the road. Yeah. If I would go on a smooth track, I would do that, yeah. but not on the road. I think that's what led me to believe that it, it is softer than the stock because I the, the difference between the hard setting and soft setting it, it's so noticeable that I actually thought that it might be softer than the stock. I think it is marginally softer. I, I felt like it, it's it's softer but it it might be a bit softer but it doesn't feel softer because the car moves more with the road yeah because it sticks more to you know to the level of the road all the time quite as much yeah. and that's obviously your less travel in the suspension because yeah. you lower right okay yeah, so thank you I, I appreciate your opinion uh, I'm sure you know it was uh, again for the for the viewers it's going to be interesting to find out you know what really how it compares to the stock car mm. uh, and I think you know we we proved here uh, I think we're not biased in in any way I'm I'm certainly don't I'm not trying to prove anything I just wanted to objectively find out what the difference is and I, and I think we, we both came to the same conclusion that the car feels very similar in the softest setting to the stock car with maybe small differences that it, 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 it takes the smaller bumps a bit better it just follows the road slightly more um, so in general it feels very similar uh, but then you've got that option to go uh, track setting or fast road setting and have a bit of fun with it so right so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it uh, i'll see you in the next one uh, please remember give this video a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you shortly in the next one thank you goodbye do widzenia